Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Isa and today I will teach you how to use this brand new app Stixer to organize all of your digital stickers. Okay, so I have already added a ton of items to this app, so a ton of digital stickers. And I have other videos using this app showing you different ways in which you can arrange your stickers. I have also used this app to keep my widgets, which are right here. Um, so I have my widget libraries. I also have my covers saved, so the covers I used for my digital planners. You can also add your inserts and any other element that you will use in your planner, like calendars and such, that is in image format, so JPEG or PNG, you will be able to add to this app. I also keep digital papers here, so I only have my planner in whichever note-taking app I'm using, so that could be GoodNotes, Notability, NoteShelf, ZoomNotes, and then I have all of my other elements in this app. And the cool thing is that you can use this app in split screen view, so you can easily bring whichever element you are using onto your planner, no matter where your planner is being used. So let me go back to my main or home folder here in the app. When you just download this app from the app store, this part will be completely blank because you haven't added any folders yet. Now, these are folders that of course I have added. So imagine I don't have anything here and what I'm going to do will work the same way. So what I'll do today is create a new folder and to do that you tap on this icon on the top right and this is going to be for my food sticker book. So just label it whatever you want. And as you can see, the new folder was created here. This purple cover is what all the folders come like by default in this app. So I'm going to open that folder and just so you know, you are not able to add stickers to your main uh, location or home location. So all of these things that you see here are folders, okay? I will not be able to add any images here, just folders. So here's my folder that I opened, the brand new one that I just created. And what I'll do now is add the images corresponding to this sticker book which I'm gonna link below in case you're interested. So I tap on this plus sign also here on the top right, and as you can see, you have different sources that you can choose to download images. Now, if you choose Google Drive or Dropbox, you will have to first log into your account, and I will actually just show you because it's not super straightforward. So here's my Google Drive folders, and I'm not even sure what I have here. I just like logged into an account I had, and this blue folder that says no folder photos, it means that the app located any photos that you have that are saved on your Google Drive, but that they don't belong to any folders. And I tap there and I don't have any, fo any images on this folder myself, you might. And otherwise, if you have a ton of other folders, they will appear here, then you would have to open each folder and see what's inside. Now you kind of have to like drag a little bit to be able to select the images, and you can select as many as you want. Now, these are heavier images than my sticker, so it might take a little longer to load, but anyway, after you've selected them, you just click on Add to Folder. It tells you that it happened successfully. Okay, and as you can see, now I have these two photos that I imported from Google Drive. You also have the option to import images from Dropbox, and here's a little weird, because if you don't see anything here, you just have to wait a little bit for all of your folders to be loaded here, and again, these will only locate the folders that have photos, and the photos that don't belong to any folder in Dropbox will be shown in the blue folder here that says no folder photos. And then these are all the folders that I have in my Dropbox apparently. Um, again, if I want to look for certain photos or images, I would just open whichever folder I'm looking for and there's where I would find my images. Now, I personally have been importing all of my stickers from the Files app because on the iPad, when you download a new set or a new sticker book from the internet, from any shop or anywhere, it usually just goes straight to Files app so since I have it already there, what I do is I just keep them there. I do organize them there. For example, I have a section for my sticker books, another section for my sticker sets, and I do show how I have that set up in my other videos using this app. But anyway, just I just wanted to show you that you can import from Google Drive, Dropbox, you can also import from Photos Gallery. You first have to give permission to access all of your photos. And after, it's just really easy. You tap and drag to select all the images you want, and you can just bring them onto Stixer. Now, of course, this was for my food sticker book, so I need to get rid of all of these images. And I want to show you to delete images. You just tap on this trash icon. You select the images that you want to delete. You can also tap and drag your finger 
to select multiple you tap on this icon again click on ok and the images are going to be gone i think that sometimes i'm not sure if i didn't select this one or it just didn't delete so you just try again and then it's gonna be gone so finally i get to import my actual foot stickers from the files app that i mentioned is where i keep all of my sticker books okay so i'm already in the sticker books location so this is a folder i have created in the files app myself and I keep all of the sticker book covers that I'll show you in a second how I use them in Stixer but I also have the folders that contain all of the stickers of each of the sticker books so now I have to find the one that says food right here and if you've seen my previous videos using Stixer I was able in the previous versions to select a ton of stickers I'm talking about like 300 or 500 stickers at once and import them all together but with this new release I found that the app crashes sometimes and it's really annoying because it imports some of the images but not all of them and you can't tell which ones were not imported so it's really confusing so what I advise you to do if you have a normal sticker set that has 10 to 40 stickers then this doesn't apply to that you can just import them all at once so up to 50 stickers 100 stickers you should be more than fine but this book has 323 stickers and that is too many so what I'll do is just click on select and then just drag my finger and keep going down until I can see that the number of stickers selected reaches somewhere maybe 150 stickers but no more because as i said i've seen that if i try to import all of 323 stickers the app might crash and then it's annoying to have to start all over anyway so what i'll do is i'll divide this set into two imports so the first one importing 148 stickers so i just have to remember where i stopped so the last stickers imported were the drinks or the lemonade pictures here and then the next selection will start at the hot dog here so then click on open now in this part you have to really give it a minute maybe even two like just be patient because it seems like the stickers are imported but they're not you see there was like a, a little skip that showed more stickers and that means that you know you just have to wait a little bit it's not super slow but just make sure that you have all of the stickers that are needed now i will go for the second import of my stickers and actually i realized that i'm gonna have to make three imports i think because i really don't want to go over 150 stickers so I'll select 100 stickers for my second import. So click on select and then just tap and drag starting from the hot dog. And then again, you can see how many stickers you have selected by looking at this number at the top here. And I just keep going until I hit around 100. So let's see. Okay, that's 110. I'm just going to do all of the Mexican section. Okay, so that's 118. Click on open. Now don't forget to give it even up to 30 seconds or so just to make sure that it has finished importing all of the stickers okay and let's see i scroll and then my new stickers yes they should be here and here they are starting from the hot dog all the way until the mexican section now another thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change the order of my stickers i want to have the last stickers at, the, at first so these corns will go at the top so click on this first icon here and then click on name but then you'll change the order to descending here. Okay, so now I have my breakfast stickers at the bottom. And the reason why I do this is because, as you can see, in when we were waiting for our second import, we couldn't really see what was going on because the new stickers were put at the bottom and we were not at the bottom. So now that I put the newer stickers at the top, we should be able to see when the stickers are done loading. So I'll do my third and last import. I'm gonna click on my plus sign, files, and this time I scroll all the way until I find my Mexican section, which was the corns. And then I click on select and then I go for the rest of the items here, which should be a lot less. So this shouldn't give me any problems. This is 57 stickers. All good. Click on open. And now this is what I mentioned because of the order. I can see that only one sticker has been imported so far. This means I need to keep waiting because obviously the other stickers have not loaded yet. So just keep waiting. And just like that, all of the stickers popped. And now because they're at the top, I can see, okay, now it's done loading and I can start, you know, using them. So I'm actually going to bring the order back to name and ascending because that's just how I want these to be organized. Okay, cool. So we have imported all of the stickers of my foot sticker book. Now you can decide to leave this category as is. And the next thing I would do is just select a cover. So if I go out here to my library, you'll see that this foot sticker book doesn't have a cover yet. So you can just 
Select one from these images, so click on this egg for example, so it's a good image to remind you that this is the food um, section, and then when you go back here, you'll have your little egg telling you that this is the food section, okay? I'm gonna go back to this food folder, now is when you can get really special organizing all of these stickers and what I'll do now is start creating subfolders to add my stickers. So for example, I'll create a folder called breakfast because I have all these stickers here for breakfast. And then using this second icon, that's my selection icon, and then you just tap and drag on the stickers that you want to move and then you tap on that icon again and you have to find a location where they're going. So in this case, I need to open my food folder first and then find my breakfast, which I misspelled, um, folder. And then you tap on this icon on the right and then click on OK. That is going to move all of those items to this particular folder. Okay, and then you can also select a cover for this folder. So that could be a bacon, okay? So my breakfast folder inside my food folder has the bacon cover and I'm gonna make another category this is going to be coffee okay so I'm gonna select all of these coffee cups beans and mugs and move them onto my food folder first and then coffee okay okay and just like that you can keep going until you have organized all of the stickers in subfolders Okay, so as you can see, I have created several different categories to organize my items in my food sticker book. So the next thing I'll do is I'll just add the covers to these folders because so far they all look purple, they're hard to recognize. So I'll just open a folder and then select whichever sticker I want to have show as the cover. Just tap on the little star next to the sticker to select the cover. And that's it. You just keep doing this until you are done. You have really organized a whole sticker book using Stixer. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And let me know in the comments below if you have started using this app, what you think about it, or if you have any questions or something was not clear, just let me know. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And if you haven't done it yet and would like to learn more tips and tricks on cool things that you can do on your iPad, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when there's a new video available. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.